Hello watcher and subscriber now we are in the next tutorial of numpy and till now you understood what is the use of numpy in python programming so in this complete session we will discuss about the numpy and we will see how we can implement the array using a numpy library so here in the numpy array as i am assuming you knows about the array and if you don't know i give you here the short review so you see this diagram represent the one dimensional array and in this example uh, if you are familiar about c and c++ then you can understand here the array size is 6 in python there is a different syntax for representing the array and in this tutorial we will see how we can create the array also so here you see the array size is suppose 6 so it means that you can add total 6 elements like that so all these element you see total 6 elements are there and they must be of same type so all the element they are integer type you can use all the element of character float like that and the index position start with always 0 end with find that in that index position you can store the value you can access the value you can retry the value means you can perform the operation with that value by using an index position which is start with 0 up to n minus 1 so this is what one dimensional array you can also have the two dimensional array it will be in matrix form and their index position is important this is the first row second row third first column second column third first column and the first row it is represented with the value zero and in that index position it will uh, refer some value suppose first value is four then it is a position with index zero zero means first row and first column and suppose the second value is uh, one so its index position is 0 1 it means whatever the values are there in two dimensional array it is in row and column format or you can say it is in matrix format and the first value position is this one this is the position of second value then third and here in the second row the next value will be represented by second row and first column so in this way we can place the value in two dimensional array now here we have the three dimensional array as we have seen one dimensional this is 2d and this is a three dimensional array like in the mathematics we uh, know we use some 3d shapes like uh, uh, cuboid cube so we have the three dimensional array in the python now here we will uh, see here what are the ways of creating array in the python so the common way is list by using list we can specify the array, array but the drawback of the list is uh, we have their different different types of values means in the list there is no restriction just like array in array what we assume we need to put the values of same type but in the list we cannot restrict the user because in the list we can have the various types of value second is the by using array model but here in the array model we have uh, we don't have the proper predefined function but in the numpy we can easily create the n dimensional array okay like 1d 2d 3d and we have lots of functions so because of numpy we can easily perform operation with the more number of values whether it is two dimensional or three dimensional now we will go in the practical session and we will see how we can create the one two or three dimensional array by using numpy so here we are in the blank screen and first we have to import numpy library and I'm using allies n by using that my somewhat writing effort will be reduced so I'm using variable a equal to n dot array function and inside it we can add the list of values I am adding only one value it represents zero dimensional array and simply we have to write print statement with the array variable here a so by using that we can print that one value that is 33 so that is what zero dimensional because only one value is there but I want to convert into one dimensional initially so you have to just use the bracket and put some values so that will be one dimensional very simple you can print the values then here I want two dimensional 
so i just copy that value for saving my time so here i have copied this values and then here i have to close it in the bracket so that this value will be treated as a two dimensional and i am checking its output so you see here it is showing in the matrix form now uh, now i want to convert into the uh, what we can say three dimensional values so this is the first set of values so i just again copy this here i use the comma and paste that values and then i enclose in the bracket and now i run this so it will be converted into multi dimensional array so you see multi dimensional array is coming so in this way you can easily use one two three dimensional four dimensional also you can go but generally we use one two and three dimensional array and uh, you can easily use the numpy for that because it is having lots of function so whatever the functions are there under the numpy whatever the operations are there that we will see in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial thank you